Whether you're writing content, researching keywords, or planning your SEO strategy, ChatGPT can be a game changer. And I am going to show you how. Let's get started. Let's first go onto our browser and search up ChatGPT. If you don't have an account with ChatGPT, you can click on Get Started to create an account, or you can log in if you already have an account. You can use the free version of ChatGPT or pay $20 a month for a ChatGPT Plus. So I will be using GPT-4, but you can follow along with the free version. ChatGPT is very helpful when it comes to keyword research. You can type a prompt asking for keyword suggestions. So in this example, I am asking, what are some long tail keywords related to side hustles? As you can see, ChatGPT will provide long tail keywords that I can use on my website. ChatGPT also provides more details that I can use for consideration. Long tail keywords related to side hustles are more specific phrases that potential side hustlers might use when searching for opportunities, ideas, or advice on starting a side hustle. Here are some examples across various categories of side hustles. As you can see, it separates it into different categories, online business, freelancing, gig economy, investing in real estate, creative and artistic side hustles, and lastly, tech and development. I can use any of these long tail keywords to help me write content for my website. Now, before I go on to the next step, I'm going to show you what ChatGPT will give me if I were to use GPT 3.5. So now I'm on 3.5 and I will enter in in the same prompt. As you can see, GPT 3.5 gives me a list, but it's not as extensive as GPT 4. However, it is still very useful. So if you are using the free version, you can still follow along. So now let's go back to GPT 4. Now, after receiving these keywords, we are going to try to understand the intent behind it. Understanding search intent is crucial for SEO. You can use chat GPT to understand and analyze the search intent behind each keyword. This ensures your content aligns with what people are looking for. To do this, we're going to write another prompt that will ask ChatGPT for the intent behind a keyword that we choose. You can go through this list and choose which long tail keywords you want to use. I am going to go under tech and development and find the search intent behind developing mobile apps for passive income. And what I like to ask is what is the search intent behind this specific keyword? As you can see, ChatGPT says that the search intent behind this is that it reflects a searcher's desire to understand or pursue ways to generate income passively by developing mobile applications, which can then be broken down into specific areas of interest or goals. This includes learning about app development, understanding passive income, monetization strategies, success stories, and case studies, as well as market research and niches, and technical business challenges, and lastly, legal and financial considerations. After receiving these results, I can make sure that I am and providing information that relates to these intents. I will also do this in GPT-3 so you can see the difference. As you can see, it provides intents, but it's not as extensive as GPT-4. You can still use this to come up with content ideas for your website. Now let's go back into GPT-4. And now for the next step, I am going to ask ChatGPT to write an outline for me. As you can see, the outline that ChatGPT has created is designed to cater to beginners who are interested in entering the field of app development with the aim of generating passive income and that the outline is very extensive. And in order to do this, I can ask it to expand on a specific segment of the outline. And as you can see, ChatGPT shows us different ways that we can monetize our app. And this is very helpful when we are writing content for our website. And there you have it. While ChatGPT can be very helpful, it is always important that you review and check your content. You can also use ChatGPT to do many other things that will help with SEO. For example, you can ask ChatGPT to generate a list of topics that your competitors are covering that you are not. Or you can get suggestions to improve your SEO by asking ChatGPT how you can improve your backlink profile. Along with ChatGPT, there are other tools that you should incorporate to help you with SEO. One of my favorites is SEMrush. SEMrush can be used for everything in the realm of SEO. SEMrush can help you with competitive research, keyword research, link building, and on-page and tech SEO. It is very helpful if you are a beginner or an expert in SEO, and I think that everyone should use it. Some cool features that it has is domain overview, which gives you instant insights into the strengths and weaknesses of your competitor or prospective customer. All you have to do is enter a domain and you can see all the analytics here. You can see the top organic keywords as well as keywords by intent. You can also see main organic competitors. Now, if you scroll down more, you will be able to see backlinks 
lists as well as index pages that will be very helpful for you. Another feature of SEMrush that I think is very helpful is keyword research. If you click on keyword overview, once you're on this page, you can type in a keyword and click search and it will show you keyword ideas as well as SERP analysis. And there are many other things on this page that is very helpful for keyword research. Another cool thing that SEMrush provides is backlink analytics. This is where you can track any domain's backlinks, conduct deep link analysis, as well as dive into your competitor's marketing and PR strategies. And another cool feature of SEMrush is its on-page and tech SEO category. It features a site audit where you can run an SEO analysis to uncover the highest priority technical issues, and it has everything you need to implement an SEO strategy. SEMrush is one of my favorite SEO tools and has many features that you can use to improve your website's SEO. If you're interested, we have provided a link down below that can get you 14 free days of SEMrush. It will also help support our channel so that we can make more free content like this. If you do click on the link down below, thank you so much in advance. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please subscribe and give us a like. If you have any questions, please comment down below and we will be sure to cover it in our next video. Thank you and I will see you next time.